Our unlucky brewer is at it again. Just opened a beer, started pouring it into the glass, and suddenly there's a strong smell of Stilton or Rochefort or blue cheese. In worst cases, it can actually smell like sweaty socks. It carries through into the flavour, but honestly, the smell alone on this one's enough to put you off. Let's find out what's happening here. Let's talk about isovaleric acid. Isovaleric acid. How are you going to know if you've got it? Well, one of the most common descriptions is blue cheese, but it's also regularly described as being cheesy, sweaty, rancid, dirty socks, or putrid, especially at higher levels. Where can you detect this fault? You can detect this fault in the smell of the beer and also in the flavour when you go to when you go to drink it. A bit more detail about isovaleric acid. It is a naturally occurring organic compound. It takes the form of a colourless liquid. Some people are far more sensitive to it than others. However, at a high enough level, everyone could detect it. That's genetics coming into play again for you. It is also a major component in nasty foot odour. So there you go, that if anything else should give you an idea what to expect here. What are the causes of it? Well, oxidation of hop alpha acids can produce valeric, butyric and 2-methylbutyric acids. Luckily ageing will start to reduce the intensity of this fault, so Aging is always good if you've got it. Bacterial infections can also produce cheesy characteristics. If it's caused by a bacterial infection though, it's not likely to age out. How do you avoid it? Quite simply, to avoid this one, you want to use fresh hops. Make sure that you store hops at low temperatures in oxygen-free containers. A vacuum pack them in a freezer is a very good way to help prevent this. If your hops have gone all brown or buff coloured or smell of cheese, then don't use them. If your beer suffers with this, leave it to age. Eventually, it will drop below threshold again. But remember, aged hops used in Lambics have normally been kept long enough that they no longer cause this issue. So, when is it appropriate in a beer? Once again, this is one of those faults that's never appropriate in a beer. You shouldn't get this in any beer style. Well, thanks a lot for watching again. If you liked the video, please remember to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you'd like to see more of these videos in future. Thanks for watching.